In April of this year, during the Manila International Auto Show, Ford launched the all-new Ford Escape with a two-liter EcoBoost engine. Problem was, they were going to wait until 2015 after that before they got stocks and sold them to customers, which left them with a pretty unique problem. You see, they had two marketing units that they couldn't really use to market, so they hid them in the Batcave somewhere in the Ford headquarters. Well, guess what? We found the Batcave. All right, it's time to tag along for the uh, Philippines' first drive of the 2014 Ford Escape. I know it's the first drive because this is the only one in the country. So, first impressions of the Ford Escape. Um, number one, you got to take a look at the outside. I think the car looks really, really sporty. It's, um, it's very much in between your SUV crossover elevated sedan. I mean, it, it's got that really nice balance in between. It's not quite as rugged as, let's say, uh, some of the other counterparts out there, but I really like the style. Sleek design of the front headlights, um, the little muscular lines that you have running across the hood. Uh, really, it's got its own design language. You know, you know it's, it, it's a head turner. Once you sit inside a Ford, any modern Ford nowadays, it's completely different to what they were before. You're surrounded by this fantastic, beautiful cockpit. I mean, they really have paid so much attention now. Um, what I love about it, steering wheel feels fantastic. It's really soft leather. Um, the design of the steering wheel, it's very involving. Everything's angled towards you. You've got this massive display here you know which which shows you this whole uh, microsoft sync entertainment infotainment thing i mean it's all touch screen and everything is voice activated let me see the connect the phone i'll even show you how okay let's connect the phone up there it's really quite as simple as that. And within seconds, boom, you're connected. It's just that simple. It talks to you in a language that you normally are used to speaking with. I mean, it's not, you're not speaking like a computer. You really are talking like you, you would talk to anyone. Absolute best part about this car is the two liter EcoBoost engine. This thing is mind blowing. How they are able to get 240 horsepower out of a little two liter engine that gives you both economy and power at the same time is really magnificent. So the two liter EcoBoost, we're just waiting for that to get all the accolades, but it's the same technology. Twin scroll, uh, turbos, it's just high compression. It really feels good. I mean, when it's hard to even find a place where you could sort of put your foot down. Whoa, you see? I mean, ah! <laughs> All the cameras flying around because it's just got so much torque. It's got 366 Newton meters of torque if you relate to Newton meters or 270 pounds or uh, foot pounds if you relate more to that. Suspension wise, quite taut, very handles very well, very predictable, comfortable enough. Um, I spend just as much time in the front as I do in the back seat. Um, sometimes when it's really traffic and I, I get driven around, I stay in the back seat. There's still plenty of room over there. What I love about this car is also this one feature. I mean, this just one feature is worth buying the whole car. It's uh, when you are walking up to the car with your hands full, you can walk up to the back and just put your foot underneath the tailgate and it automatically lifts up so long as you have the key in your pocket. It is just fantastic. It saves you all that hassle. Just picture yourself with two bags. Just put your foot down there like that. Walk over and magic! The car opens up like that. Then you can shove all your goodies in here. Throw it in the back there. Got a lot of room in there. Plenty of space. All very, very nice. 
then just a flick of the button or you can put your foot underneath again and the car will close. Also, um, you got this beautiful double moon roof over here, just allows a lot of the natural light into the cabin. That gives you this, this, this extra feeling of space. Because the car is not yet available here in the country, um, there is no official pricing on the car, which is why I had to take out a lease on the car. Um, it would be fair to say it would be somewhere around the crosshairs of the Subaru Forester XT. That's probably a safe bet. This car is just going to make waves in the compact SUV segment because it's the first time really that they're, they're giving you an alternative to the Subaru Forester XT, which is already a dynamic car. But when you add the looks of this, plus the connectivity, plus all the little goodies like that foot thing in the back, wow, this car is really, really something special.